Now this is the second part in our two-part video on how to install dust collection in your workbench. Now in the first video, uh, we did basically all the pipe work inside the workbench. Uh, so now that's done. If you want to go back to the first video, click on the link that I'm going to put on the screen. Uh, and you can go watch the first video and then come back to this one. Uh, so in this uh, video, basically, we're just going to be finishing up everything, adding the hoses, and uh, making some last-minute additions. All right, so this point right here is the dust collection in the uh, workbench now and we need to get it to the dust collection port on the bandsaw now to do this we're gonna use a flexible hose um, and that's gonna go from here to the bandsaw and so what we need to do is make is cut that um, to fit in this gap here and this is about maybe a little more than a foot so maybe we'll do a foot and a half maybe closer to two feet so that I have a little bit of extra space so I can pull the bandsaw out to install the hose so let's get right, to that. So I cut my piece, it's about this long, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, um, but we're going to hook it up to the bandsaw now. And on each side we're going to add a hose clamp. Might have to loosen these up a little bit, but pop them on both sides. Right, and now I've gotten this on the bandsaw. It was a little bit hard, but uh, I also put a hose clamp on there before and I'm able to tighten this down. So there we go, it shouldn't come off now. Now I hooked it up to the dust collection and we're all set for the bandsaw. So now we do the same thing for the Alright, so as you can see here we've put the hose in, uh, to the bandsaw and we've put the hose to the router table uh, way in the back. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So if we come up here you can see uh, we've got this hose to the router table. Um, I also allowed a little bit extra so that I can move the fence ba uh, back and forth, and I can also pull the router table out if I need to. Um, and same over here, we have that hose hooked up, and it's really easy to um, use these tools. As you can see, the bandsaw blast gate is open right now, so if I want to use the router table, I just close this one, and then I usually reach underneath the router table and pull this one out. Um, and that's much easier than connecting hoses uh, uh, to and from different tools. Uh, so this will make it a lot easier. And also, this system being enclosed in the workbench is very modular. So if you were to move, like I am planning to do, that's why I built this style bench. Um, if I'm planning to move the bench in the future, uh, I can easily do that. Um, and hook it up to other workbenches like this one um, with the same dust collection inside. And that will make it a lot easier when I'm um, making a new shop, if I ever do. All right, now I thought I would share with you how this whole system works. Now this is my shop vac, which I use for dust collection. Of course, you can use this workbench uh, dust collection system for any shop with any type of dust collection system. This happens to be a shop vac. Um, and it's hooked up to a dust deputy. The only reason I did this was to save space. Um, and also, it's a little bit cheaper to buy a shop vac than a um, dust collection system. Um, and I didn't need a huge system for my shop. So, it, as you can see back here, it's a little bit tight, but there's a dust deputy. Um, and then down here, there's the bucket so that it can all f the sawdust can fall into it. Uh, that works really well. And then, as you can see in the background, there's that PVC pipe that runs over this way. It splits off two ways to go to this bench or this bench, and then it rises up, um, up into the bench over here, and this is the stuff that we installed. Now, as you can see, this is a very good system, um, and hopefully you build this system. I really like this. Um, and it's going to be really easy to move this system in the future if I ever need to. Alright, now that pretty much wraps everything up. Now I am probably going to be doing another video on how to ground your dust collection system. Uh, because uh, static buildup is an issue uh, with PVC pipe. Um, so I might do another video on that. Um, and so that pretty much wraps everything up. I hope you like this video. If you haven't already seen the first video, go back and watch that now. I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.